Like I have a better record against RNG than most uh, LPL teams, you know, so maybe that's something, you know, but uh, I think they don't really give a fuck about me, I'm gonna be <laughs> honest. Hello everyone, this is Darius from the Shot Caller, joined here by Yamato Cannon. Congratulations on third place. Uh, lots of emotions were had. What is going through your personal head right now? Oh, it's, uh, it feels amazing. Like, um, we, obviously we want to be in the final, but uh, this was a big deal for us because we played the third place match um, in the last split. And this was uh, very redeeming for all of us. It's also the first time uh, when I've uh, uh, been in uh, like the big event at the end of a split. Uh, this is the first time I actually win. Yeah. So it's uh, it feels amazing for me. I think uh, it's the beginning of uh, something great. Something great that might end up in a world run, of course. If Fnatic beat Schalke tomorrow, uh, you guys will officially qualify. Uh, what can we expect from Vitality if you guys do go to Worlds? I think uh, as a team, we tend to. Like we've always tried to push limits where people are kind of afraid to push. That's why you see us sometimes uh, doing dives that are too reckless and uh, doing plays that might go wrong if uh, a simple misstep happens. And I think this puts us in a position where, you know, we are we are very bold in the way we play. And I think coming into the World Championship, that's what you need to do. I think uh, you're not gonna accomplish anything by trying to catch up to the other teams. Obviously, if we come into the tournament, if we're playing against China or Korea, we know that uh, Europe is the underdog. And we need to come in with our own flair, we need to come in with our own ideas, and that's something that we love to do. So I think uh, we'll put up a good show, and um, of course, if we qualify, a lot of the pieces have to fall into place. Of course, in the case that we do, I think uh, we can put up a good show for everyone. It would be very exciting. Now, your last Worlds run with Splice didn't end too well, quite frankly. Uh, what did you learn from back then that you would now like to, to change this time around, if it does, if you guys do go to Worlds? Uh, I learned uh, a lot about how, uh, you know, obviously our group with Splice was very hard. We had Samsung, RNG and TSM, and we came in with a third seed, and that uh, made things very hard for us. We came in uh, with the idea that we wanted to learn as much as possible, I learned a lot personally about how I would structure a Korean bootcamp, which I've applied uh, the past years. I've also learned a lot about uh, uh, how to practice efficiently over a larger period of time, because that's what you get when you go for the Korean bootcamp. In our case with Splice, we had to leave straight away because we played the regional qualifier. But it, it's more about the mindset coming into the World Jam Championship and how you want to prepare. I think it's uh, very different from uh, regular LCS because you have your group stage and you prepare against three teams and um, uh, the way you need to do it is very different. Very interesting. Uh, that said, um, which teams are you specifically looking at uh, playing? For example, we had the, the LCK finals uh, today, which means that Griffin and KZ will have to go through the gauntlet. Only one of those two teams will make worlds. Uh, do you have any specific teams that you really want to face? RNG is of course a name that gets thrown around a lot. Oh, for me, you know, facing these teams would be absolutely amazing. I think it's uh, a fantastic experience. Like, I have a better record against RNG than most uh, LPL teams, you know, so maybe that's something, you know, but uh, I think they don't really give a fuck about me, I'm going to be <laughs> honest. Uh, we won that one game with Splice against RNG. Uh, I think, um, you know, for me, I, I don't think any team that is going to the World Championship, uh, like any team is going to be interesting to play against because I think LMS, is also great. I think Flash Fools uh, played very well at MSI. I think um, uh, the Chinese teams, I think IG is also looking yeah. crazy good. I'm excited to see what they bring up because uh, I think them playing the Draven a lot, they kind of remind me of ourselves. And I think China in general kind of remind me of how we want to play because I think it's the right approach to the game. And um, uh, what else? I think the, any Korean team is just interesting to play against because you know when we were screaming over in Korea uh, when we were boot camping, we learned so much. Like we learned so so much, and uh, for me, you know, it's very rare where I scream against teams uh, where I feel like I'm learning super much. You know, for me, it's I have to analyze things. And when we were boot camping in Korea, it was like, wow, this they, they actually did this, and the idea was this, and it was like mind blowing all the way. So. I'm just excited to face different teams. Uh, I don't think it's a question about specific teams. I think as long as it's different, uh, I'm happy because 
I know we'll all learn uh, amazing things. Um, maybe you can intimidate them with your voice. I remember when uh, Chinese media came over for MSI and they showed an interview with Boxer, all the Chinese uh, in the room were like, oh, <laughs> kind of stuff. Um, are you a bit worried, though, that uh, given that your players, some of them are, are pretty young and uh, have relatively low amount of LCS experience compared to, to others and other teams that will go to Worlds, are you, ner are you worried that, might be, that there might be nerves coming into the tournament? Uh, not at all. I think uh, uh, my guys, they strive when they face uh, greater opposition. When we practice against greater opposition, I feel like we uh, learn the fastest. And I think that's also the case uh, for myself. And as long as that's the case, as we keep improving, I think we are going to keep, like we're going to go on a steady track. And I think we can uh, show good things at the World Championship. Anything you want to say to the Vitality fans? Uh, well, I would like to thank everyone. Uh, it's been an amazing journey. It's not over yet. We need to uh, make sure Fnatic wins, which I think is going to be the case. Uh, I would like to thank all of you for cheering for us. This was uh, a very emotional day for all of us, and uh, I'm very happy you could all share this with us. I would also give a shout out to um, my family and uh, everyone's family for being here because it means immensely that uh, Everyone comes out all the way to Madrid to support us. And uh, without the fans and without our family, nothing would be possible. So thank you very much. Very beautiful pictures from Madrid. Thank you very much, Yamato Cannon. This was Darius from Shotcall. I hope you had a good day. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.